Okay, let me start over. Or chest and back. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah. Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I am still not sure how to do an intro, but thank you for joining. Today we are doing shoulders and abs. When I started this split, I threw abs into shoulders because I just felt that shoulders was my shortest day and I ended up loving it because this shoulder and ab day, I do a lot of high plank variations where not this plank, but this, okay, you'll see it later. Um, and doing that high plank really engages your shoulders and I promise you will feel the burn, but you can do it. Gotta catch my breath. Hello? Why? Aha. Okay, so I'm getting ready for the gym. Um, I'm taking my pre-workout because I got up at 5.30 this morning. Don't ask why. And I'm eating my Oikos with, mm, ah man, granola and frozen raspberries. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna drink my pre-workout. My best friend is on her way because I'm dragging her to my gym. She's so excited, I'm sure. I have the bestest friends, but I'm running out, so this might be my last video for a while. Um, so let's get into this workout. All right, so we are starting out with a warm up. As always, you should always be mentally and physically warming up your body, getting your blood flowing. Do whatever you enjoy because you will stick to it. Then on shoulder day, I always do this shoulder mobility warm up. Make sure you are pressing your arms against the band, so pressing outward. Did you know that Fitbit Charge 2 has a workout setting? Oh, I just passed it. If you go to this, tap and turn on weights. Now we are getting into our first super set. Get your bench all set up. We are beginning with a very basic shoulder press. You're gonna rotate your wrists so your palms are facing forward. Make sure you are breathing throughout the entire movement. Exhale as you extend your arms up and bring the dumbbells almost to touching. And then inhale on the way back down. Hit those rear delts with some bent over raises. Drop the weight, sit on the edge of your bench with your legs together and lean forward. Throughout this motion, you will keep your palms facing inward and maintain a slight bend in your elbow. Lift your arms until they are parallel with the floor. Hold for a second and then slowly, slowly lower your arms back to starting position. So complete that and then run through it two more times for a total of three complete supersets. Take a rest and then get ready to hop into our next superset, which is starting out with some standing raises, front to side raises, not really sure what they're called, but up, out, down, back up, in, down is one complete rep. So have fun with that. Make sure that you are focusing on slow and controlled movements. And then without resting, you're gonna drop the weights and get down into a high bridge for some shoulder taps. For these, you wanna tighten your core. Make sure that you are also engaging your glutes. You want to keep your spine, head, and neck aligned and have your hips staying level with the floor. Honestly, I feel like I was kind of shaking a lot here so I widened my feet to create a larger base to work from. Overall, this move benefits your core, glutes, wrists, arms, and shoulders. After completing that superset three times, we're moving into our third and last superset. Beginning with our upright row. So we're gonna grab a barbell with an overhand grip, keeping your hands about shoulder width apart or slightly narrower. 
You want to make sure that you're holding the weight close to your body. Pulling upwards towards your chest, focus on keeping your elbows flared out and bringing your hands to your chest, stopping before your chin. So you kind of want your shoulders to be in line with your elbows at the top of this motion. And then once again, you're gonna drop the barbell and get right into a high plank position. For these, you're gonna lower one elbow to the mat and then the other, then straighten the first arm and back up into your starting position as you can see. The goal is to maintain a solid plank throughout the movement with minimal hip swaying. I prefer to complete all of one arm and then switch to the next arm. If this is too challenging for you, I'd probably suggest substituting in mountain climbers or just holding a high plank. Well, I hope that your shoulders are nice and fatigued. I hope that they grow. Meal prep. I think that one of the most important things is meal prepping. When people say that they don't have time or they don't have money, I think that those are all excuses that can be overcome. Eating out costs time, eating out costs money, and eating out takes time. If it costs your goals, then if you are really struggling to change your lifestyle when it comes to nutrition and diet, then I suggest meal prepping. Take that Sunday night or that Monday night and just set aside a block of time, make a plan, go to the grocery store, and just get it done. Like, just get it done. Make them, have them ready. It is seriously crucial because then you will stick to eating this versus grabbing a bag of chips or a Chipotle bowl that's way too big and you didn't need to eat all that food in one sitting. There are a lot of excuses and honestly I made some for myself because my life was crazy and I literally had no time. And one day I posted a picture, this is funny. I posted a picture of my lunch, aha. It was lentils, chicken, hard-boiled egg and green beans on top of a salad and I posted that and I posted that on my story and the owner of Mighty Meals reached out to me and he was like I think you might be interested in our meal service and I was like hi huh? he probably thinks I can't cook to save my life I'm just kidding he's really nice so he offered to send me over some meals and isn't that awesome so if you have this in your area this is for my Virginia DC friends so today I brought this was such a nice treat I brought lemon pepper bistro steak and brussels sprouts and the brussels sprouts had bacon it was actually really delicious the meat was like a perfect tenderness it wasn't too chewy but it wasn't dry like, i was like i could eat this every day so good chicken enchilada casserole this one's so pretty shredded buffalo chicken bison and grass-fed beef lasagna cilantro lime chicken no <laughs> oh okay yep that's how my day is going. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, mm, uh, well, I guess this one's open, so I'll just show it to you. Let me show you this one because I'm really excited for this special sauce. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. There's the buffalo chicken. See the macros on this bad boy. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Let me just clean up all this rice I spilled everywhere. A few things about us that are important. If you were in the D.C. or Northern Virginia area, they currently have 30 pickup locations. I chose to go to Maryfield and pick them up from District Barbell. I just walked on in. There was a fridge that said Mighty Meals. My bag was in there. And I just scooped it. It was awesome. It was quick. Yum. Oh, great. There is free home delivery if you buy at least 13 meals or $130 worth. Orders close every Thursday at 11.59, and then you pick it up on Sunday or Monday. Also, I do have a code if you want to try them out. You're in the Virginia area. I highly recommend. It is jrenee10. That will save you 10%. I will put it below along with a link. I hope that this was helpful. Also, if you are new to meal prepping, I think it's really awesome because like doing things like this can give you ideas. So maybe you wouldn't buy this all the time because, you know, if you're in college, probably not rich. Mm -hmm. When you know that you have a crazy week coming up, put that order in, scoop them up. If you're traveling, this would actually probably be cheaper than eating out all the time. Mmm, that actually smells like it has some really good seasoning. Love it. Flex a little. Just kidding. Eat some Mighty Meals. Can you see that? EatsMightyMeals.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know. 
below or on Instagram. I linked um, the bands and some different stuff below. Go check it out. Bye.